Today marks the launch of Gemini 3.0, Google's most advanced AI model, combining state-of-the-art reasoning, multimodal understanding, and agentic capabilities to instantly turn ideas into apps, workflows, or insights. It's the next generation model that's built to learn, build, and plan anything with unprecedented speed and intelligence. In coding, the Gemini 3.0 delivers state-of-the-art performance with top scores on Live Code Bench and Terminal Bench and other frontier benchmarks. And alongside this release, Google also unveiled Google's Anti-Gravity IDE, a fully free next-generation IDE that brings software development into the agent-first era powered entirely by Gemini 3.0. Think of it as Google's counter to cursor, featuring everything you'd expect from advanced AI editing with tab auto completion and natural language code commands with configurable agents and deep context aware of workflows. This is an IDE that also features higher level abstractions, which is a more intuitive task-based system that shows essential artifacts, verification results, and agent discussions, and it helps you build trust in each step. There's also cross-surface agents, this is where you can synchronize agents control across your editor, terminal, and browser for seamless end-to-end -end development. You also have user feedback, which is where it will easily inject feedback across any surface or artifact to guide, correct, and refine an agent's work. And lastly, you also have an agent-first experience with this editor, where you can manage multiple agents simultaneously across any workspace using one unified mission control view. This is just wild because just take a look at this example where anti-gravity's agency capabilities was capable of building a fully functional collaborative multi-whiteboard application where multiple people can draw, brainstorm, and sketch ideas together, all generated end-to-end -end by leveraging the full power of Gemini 3.0. And the best part is, is that you have the ability to access this completely for free. With the individual plan, you can get started with the Google account. It's rate limited, but you're going to be able to get a generous amount of use cases out of this model with the new IDE Google has. And to get started, head over to the Anti-Gravity website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And what you can do is click on download for your operating system. This is where you can install it for whatever operating system you have, whether that's Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Once installed, you can get started with the setup process. This is where you can either start fresh or import settings from other IDEs you may have. I'm gonna do this for VS Code. And then I'm going to set my editor theme type. And then we can have it so that we can use the anti-gravity agent type. This is where you can use the recommended agent assisted development process. Or you can have it so that you can review every sort of generation by the AI. You can also set custom configurations. I believe it's best set for the agent driven uh, assisted development. And now what you can do is click next. And then you can configure the key bindings, extensions, and command line. Once that is set, you can then sign in with your Google account and get started with this. And there we go. This is the anti-gravity IDE. It is a VS Code clone, and you can see on the left-hand side, you can manage to explore the code search. You also have the source control, all of the features that you would see within VS Code. All of your extensions will be also displayed over here. None of them have been installed yet, but you can easily manage all of them directly from here. And then you can open up your folder and then you can open up the agent manager. This is a new feature built within anti-gravity. The agent manager is the mission control for running multiple agents at the same time. So if you're going to be running multiple agents simultaneously, you're going to be able to manage them directly over here. And you can essentially chat with all the agents with the Gemini 3 Pro high model so that you can easily work with it to accomplish any task. There's two modes that you can use, planning and fast. Planning is going to take a bit more time to use deep research to solve complex tasks. And then the fast method is just deploying it with a faster agent to execute these tasks. Now, what I'm going to do is have it deploy multiple agents to create a Kanban board to deploy multiple agents to tackle any task. So it's an inception where I'm going to have it work on creating a Kanban board, which is like a dashboard where I can work on deploying and using these agents to tackle other tasks. This is where it has built the plan that you can approve. If you approve of it, you can then proceed forward. And if not, you can obviously request it to iterate further on it. If you click on this Chrome icon, this will have you install the anti-gravity browser control agent. This is where it can 
better control your browser so that you can debug as well as execute different tasks. So a couple of different example use cases is you can have it work on debugging for quality assurance testing, monitoring dashboards, and get live feedback to your AI agent faster than something like just taking screenshots. This relates to the dev tools that we had mentioned previously on our Chrome video. But with Anti-Gravity's Agent Manager, you can see that it will deploy multiple agents to work on executing all of these tasks for you. You can see that it has finished fixing and preparing the multi-agent Kanban board. We can actually open up the walkthrough as to how you can set this up. And you can use the npm install command to get it running. And once you approve of this, you can then obviously start it up. But if you scroll all the way to the top, you can see all the agents that were deployed to code out all the components, all the different pages to have this functional. Now within the anti-gravity IDE, you also have the chat panel where you can interact with the agent. This is where you can use it like Klein or like other extensions to help you code and build anything. Just take a look at it right now. It is using the browser agent and it is working on controlling the browser to now debug the app that it has created. And there we go. We have the multi-agent Kanban board that works. And this is where you can see all the tasks that it will work on, like the initial research, the setup environment, to also design a database. These are just a list of different tasks that it can execute. And all you got to do now is just deploy the agent. And this is where it's connected to actually the backend within VS Code. And it can actually execute all these tasks, like initiating the research, setting up the environment. And as you saw, it was able to do all that quite quickly. And just to showcase something cool, this is where I am working with the agent directly built within the panel. And there is an artifacts that you can work with. So if you click on the artifacts, it'll give you a live visualization of what it's working on currently. This is where it has worked on the implementation plan. And if you approve of this plan, you can then click on proceed and it will start working on deploying agents to execute that plan. But think of this as a cool way to visualize what the agent is working on. So if you actually have a full on functional app, you can actually point out certain things like adding a comment to this line and improving it. Or you can highlight a certain section so that you can deploy agents to work on improving a feature or prototyping a new feature. What I really like is that there is also a review changes section that gives you a good view of all the diff changes across multiple files. And there we go. We have a browser based macOS style operating system. And this is where we can enter in the password. It could be anything which it states over here. So we're going to click enter and there we go. This is beautiful. This actually looks exactly like a Mac OS. It doesn't have a background, but we have a Safari. We also have the file manager. You also have the terminal, the notes app, the actual calculator, calendar, and a couple of other things. This is the capability of this app. You can see I just changed the background of the operating system. This is how incredible anti-gravity's capability is. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on anti-gravity. This is something that's much more than just a basic agentic IDE. It is something that lets you harvest the ability of the Gemini 3.0 model at its full potential. I highly recommend that you try this out. This is something that is fully free right now and we'll be switching over to a paid plan probably in the near future. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and then also please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.